Hi, I'm Malcolm McDonald, ex number nine for Newcastle United, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Absolutely fantastic news that Michael Moreno has signed a long term deal at the club. We thought that this would happen after what was it speculated that would happen after 20, 20 games that Newcastle would activate the clause, but local media were wrong and it's only been seven games that Newcastle could activate this clause. Michael Moreno uh, admitted it in his own pr press conference before Rafa Benitez is on Friday and he said that because the trigger has been hit, he's more than happy to sign. Now we're going to be hearing from Michael Moreno in a second, but I'm going to put up a couple of statements which he has said and also Rafa Benitez. So this is what Mourinho had actually turned around and said today. I'm very happy to be here and for this part of the contract finally to be official. I'm happy to be here for five more years and I hope to continue playing for the club and to give things to all the people in the club. I've been focused on football always, but it's good to know official that people will know it. I'm very focused on my display and proving myself and I'm really happy to sign this contract. So, yeah, you know, when you, you hear these statements, everybody says the right things, don't they? This is what Rafa Benitez said. I'm really pleased we have been able to bring Mikel to the club permanently. He has played well since he joined us. He has settled in quickly, has a lot of quality on the ball and is keen to learn. That is the crucial part of future development. He's made a great impression at the club and he's a good professional. He has the confidence, but he's also still young and has things to improve. He has to keep working hard and playing well and hopefully he can improve and continue playing, enjoy playing here, sorry. Right, so the fee is believed to be under 10 million. Now that, for me, is an absolute steal of a price. He, yes, it's early days and it's only seven, eight, seven, eight games in the season, but he has shown, for me, he and Jamal Lascelles are the best two players this season. And for a young lad coming out in a foreign country, never been in the country, to show that, it's absolutely fantastic because he's he's he struggled a little bit at Dortmund. And don't get me wrong, Dortmund have an abundance of talent to have in midfield. And he went to Germany to a new country himself, didn't settle. And he went to England and you think, is he going to settle? But luckily, I think the Spanish influence has helped him as well. The likes of Ayose Perez, Hoslu, Javi Manquillo as well. He's obviously thanked the fans for the support shown because Newcastle... Newcastle fans get a lot of criticism on Twitter for being jumping on the bandwagon when things are going wrong. But when things are going well... I've seen a lot of fans praise Michael Moreno, tweeting him directly, and he's obviously thanked that as well. He's at the right place as well, I, I generally think that. You know, he's making that centre midfield role his own. I think he is, if you had a pick between Shelby and Michael Moreno, I think Moreno in the minute will be picked first at this present moment. Obviously, later on that season might change, depending on form and summit, but... You know, he's great. He's just dispatching the ball. He can move. He can run with the ball, bring it forward. His distribution is great. He can tackle. He's got a bit, a bit of a mixture of everything. He just probably needs an odd goal here and there. Whereas, you probably look at, like, Mikel Moreno will start. And then, I'm looking forward to how his development and his relationship, the partnership that get, he gets on with John Joe Shelby. Because those two, most of the time, would start. And then you've got Hayden trying to push it in that certain midfielder's role. So, it's healthy. Probably realistically we'll probably need another body to challenge because you always want the four from every two positions but it's absolutely fantastic news this lad absolutely quality he's looked shown i know it's early days but it's really really good promise and for under 10 million man you've seen the players who go for crazy money and we've got him for under 10 million that is an absolute steal me personally i'm absolutely delighted that the club have actually put the money there as well let's hope it continues and we'll see some more bodies come in in january as well and strengthen the squad even further than it is. Absolutely brilliant. Well done the board for a change as well. Well done Rafa Benitez for finding this absolute gem of a talent. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, I'm really happy to to be here to finally uh, be official this uh, this part of the of the contract and well, uh, I'm, I'm happy to 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 be here for uh, five more years, and well, uh, I hope to keep playing uh, in for this club and give some good things to all the the people and the the club. Well, I've been focused on football uh, always, but um, yeah, it's good that to know that it's now official and people will will know it. And well, I'm focused on just playing and improve myself, and just uh, I'm really happy to to have signed this this contract.